With light pollution becoming a real problem nowadays, those of us who want to image the night sky with our telescopes and cameras need to pack up our heavy gear into our cars and head out to a dark sky site that is not affected by light pollution. Traditional equatorial mounts, they don't lend themselves to easy transportation. Now, if you have a big telescope like me, then the chances are you have a very large and heavy equatorial mount. Now, these mounts are big on purpose, so they can hold a payload of 20 plus kilograms. So if you have a small car, you will soon realize that your rig is taking a huge portion of space in the car. And if you're heading away for the weekend, all the important stuff like food, well, where do you put it? I mean, it has to be left behind because there's no space left. Now, one answer to this is to buy yourself a bigger car like an SUV. And that way you can put all your, all your gear into that car. Chances are you would have pulled a few muscles in, in your back as you take the mount out of the storage and loaded it back and forth into your car and setting up at the other end is no fun either. Counterweights are also required and these add to the bulk of things that you have to take away with you. Now there are many lightweight solutions that are available nowadays. And these are catered for those of us with small telescopes. And the usual payload of these mounts is about five kilograms. Now I've previously covered the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI before, and this is ideal for small telescopes. If you want to click the banner above to find out more about this mount. Now, what if you wanted to bring along your heavy telescope? Is there a way to use a lightweight mount with these? Well, the answer used to be no. A very blunt and straight to the point no. Well, then comes along a new range of harmonic mounts or strain wave mounts, if you want to call them that. They came into the marketplace. Now these were originally very expensive and those of us with a lot of spare cash might have considered one. Now the well-respected ZWO brand, famous for their astronomy cameras, brings us the AM5. Hi, it's Gerald from Optics Central with you again. Sorry it's been a while since my last video. The weather hasn't been too kind to us here in Melbourne for many months now, and it hinders any kind of testing. And so, hold on, someone's at the roller door. I'll be right back. Look what I've got here. So lately there's been a week of good weather and I've had the chance to test out the AM5. But firstly, let's do the traditional unboxing. The courier who delivered the AM5 to me was bemused by my reaction. I imagine he thought, what kind of person gets all excited about a piece of machinery? And what is this stranger, what's he kissing the machinery for? I like the black case that comes with this mount. It's nice and sturdy and will do the job in protecting the AM5 from bumps and knocks. It's got nice graphics on it as well. So if I open up the box, put those aside, let's have a look inside it. 
All right, so it's got some the Allen keys, the mount itself, the cables, the hand controller that comes with it as well. There it is there. Doesn't weigh too much either. That's pretty good. Now, it might be wise at this point in the video to mention that I would recommend you consider getting the carbon fiber mount. Now, this um, pairs nicely with the, the AM5. It's the ZWO TC40 tripod. The tripod comes with a mounting plate. So um, you can actually take the mounting plate off. Um, so it's just by undoing this. Now that actually goes onto the, the base of the, um, the mount. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Now there's three mounting points to match the underside of the, the bottom of the AM5. So you see them here. We'll grab the screws um, and we'll put them, I guess, put them in place. I'll fast forward this bit so you can sort of see what I'm doing. But what we do is we need to, I'll bring this a bit closer. So I need to put these on. So these have to go onto there. So I'll get the Allen key, match it up. Just lightly nip them in place. I'll just do these up a little bit tighter. Not too tight. I know some people get a bit carried away with the tightening the bolts, but there's no need to do that. So we've got that here, and that what we'll do is we'll put this on top of the, the tripod, and I'll come back and show you how to do that. Right, now that I've got the, the base plate put on, it's just a case of getting the I don't know if you can see that, but that's just got a um, hole, or we'll call it that. And it's just a case of putting this on top of the tripod hole and this lock here, we just lock that in place. The bottom part on here, I think it goes that way. a bit tighter. These, we can lock this now. Lock that, lock that, lock that, and that's not going anywhere. So I'll put the rest of this together. The spreader, put that on here. Oops. So the tripod leg, you can pull that down like so and lock it in place. All the three legs go like that. But um, yeah, it's quite quite a nice piece of machinery, this. Okay, so we're ready to use the AM5. Now what we need to do is just make sure that your um, the, the mount's nice and level. There's two spirit levels. I'll just bring it a bit closer so you can sort of see them. Um, yeah, so we need to adjust it. We just adjust the legs so that the spirit level is nice and level, and then we can do our pole alignment. I'm just going to get a standard reflector, uh, 130, 650 focal length. So what I'm going to do is um, with the dovetail. This one's got dovetail here, so I put the dovetail in place. That's not going anywhere. Now keep in mind, if your telescope is under 13 kilograms, you will most likely not need any counterweights. 
However, if your payload is approaching about 20 kilograms, you probably should consider using the counterweight bar with counterweights to help with the overall balance of, the, of a larger telescope. So there's a hand controller that comes with the AM5 that allows you to slew your mount. And if you're familiar with those game controllers, then the hand controller will feel very natural for you. It's got a nice sound to it. Very, very quiet. All right, so I think we're ready to begin using the rig. So I've got my car all set up and um, I'm gonna jump in the car, head up to a dark sky site. So I'll be filming this probably in the dark with a red torch on my head and we'll see how we go. To start, open the ASI Air app and do a rough focus of some stars before running a more precise automatic focus routine using the EAF or the electric autofocuser. This will fine tune the focus of the telescope for pinpoint sharp stars. Next, perform pole alignment by pointing the rig towards a south celestial pole, adjusting the altar as bolts until the numbers on the right come down and the face on the side smiles. Select the target for tonight's imaging, such as IC2944, the Running Chicken Nebula, by typing the catalogue number into the Find search box. Click Go To and the telescope will slew to the target and adjust it so the target is dead centre. Select your previously captured calibration frames, that is the bias, darks and flat frames. Lock the target with the auto guider. This will lock onto a star and send pulses to the AM5 to move it when it's required. Notice that the periodic errors from the mount is less than 0.3 arc seconds in some cases, which is pretty impressive. Then begin image acquisition with live stacking in this case. Refer to the Sky Atlas part of the ASI Air app to frame the image. As each frame comes in, the target will show more detail. After two hours of data acquisition, you can see how much detail has been captured. The AM5 has given a sharp and detailed image with round stars. And I'll be using PixInsight and Photoshop for the post-processing. The AM5 gets a big thumbs up from me. And would I recommend it to anyone? Hell yeah. Optic Central has the AM5 mount and a variety of other Equatoro mounts for you to look at in our showroom. So feel free to come along to our showroom and one of our friendly team members will help you with your inquiry. Please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel for the latest in upcoming product videos. And from all of us at Optic Central, we wish you clear skies, look up, and enjoy the wonders of the universe.